call upon uh, a man that's overseen a lot of growth in this great game and it only continues to get better and better. Very proud of the concept. The Chief Executive Officer of the National Rugby League, David Gallup. Thanks very much, Tim. Uh, good morning to everyone. Uh, can I particularly welcome the Premier uh, along this morning and Smiley. Great to have you guys here and great to hear your words uh, as we launch All Stars Week on the Gold Coast for the third time. Can I also begin by acknowledging the traditional owners of the land that we're meeting on today and paying my respects to their elders past and present. Also, can I welcome uh, Wayne Bennett and Laurie Daly and representatives of the teams uh, along this morning. Great to have you guys here uh, because it is a, it's a full on week. I think uh, last year, Laurie uh, realised that the commitment around All Stars can be pretty exhausting. And um, hopefully we've helped a bit in the experience of going into the third year because uh, I think your guys were pretty exhausted before they even played the game. Uh, back in 2011, but great to have you guys here. Um, the support of uh, the coaches and, of course, the clubs and the players has been so integral to the success of the All-Stars. And uh, it's unique in so many ways. It's not only unique in rugby league, it's unique in Australian sport and it's unique in the community. And how good was that video uh, of the highlights of the 2011 All-Stars? Um, one of the things about the All-Stars is that uh, it brings together players from every club and it gives them an opportunity to play in a game where their skill uh, is going to be just amazing again on Saturday night. Some experimental rules, uh, an opportunity to have some fun, show some flair. Uh, but one thing to remember about this game, I think, as we reflect on it, is that when we went into that first year, uh, everyone held their breath a little bit when the whistle went for the kickoff, wondering what the actual game of footy would be like and the players just turned it on. Uh, it was intense, it was fun, uh, they played with flair, they put everything in in attack and defence. And, and certainly I can remember thinking, that proves uh, that this is an important concept uh, because the players are recognising how important it is, not only for our game, but in the community. And of course, uh, that'll be the same uh, when, we come on to, when they come onto the field on Saturday night. The next few days, as I said, is really busy. There's going to be a National Youth Summit, job expos, cultural displays, junior matches, women's matches, one community visits, the community carnal activities, not only in the Gold Coast but across the country, and a real spirit of everybody working together. The money raised uh, will go back to club community programs focusing on Indigenous outcomes from the Learn Earn Legend School to Work initiatives to lifestyle and nutrition programs. Over 10,000 students and community members in 2011 benefited from the funds that were made uh, through the All-Stars and there'll be an even greater focus on learner and legend school to work programs with now 10 of our clubs actively involved with these with the Department of Education, Employment and Workplace Relations. You'll see a breakdown of those club programs in the media kit and I encourage everyone to take some time to go through those in detail. This is a, uh, it's an, an unprecedented level of success in terms of the number of participants who successfully uh, graduate and it's worth pointing out that it's just one part of the one community programs uh, that happen in our game. One person who was passionate about providing opportunity for young Australians and in particular Indigenous Australians was of course, uh, of course Arthur Beetson. Uh, he was forthright in his views on many things but he was a big fan of the All-Stars concept and it's fitting that his name and his handprint now take pride of place on the trophy uh, and that all the players this year will carry his name in tribute on their jersey. Fiercely proud of his Indigenous background, Arthur was a proud Queenslander and a proud Australian. And he showed that these were not competing levels of identity but part of one rugby league identity that we could all celebrate. And that's an important message from the Harvey Norman All-Stars uh, in 2012 and into the future. It's a game that I'm personally uh, really proud of. I think it brings together so many things that are great about rugby league. Uh, on Saturday, the 4th of February, happens to be the day that I'll clock up uh, 10 years as the CEO of the NRL. And there's been so many things that I've been proud of in that 10 years, but I don't think anything um, could really beat the creation of the All-Stars, uh, the footy on the field, the community involvement of our players, 
uh, and the way it gets to highlight all the great things about rugby league. There are serious issues as well. It certainly opened my eyes uh, to the opportunity gap that exists between Indigenous and non-Indigenous Australians. It's something that every Australian should be concerned about and this is just our small part in highlighting some of that. Enjoy the footy on Saturday night. Can I thank again uh, everyone who's come along this morning, particularly the Premier, Smiley, the coach and the players, but to everyone else, it's going to be deadly, as the Indigenous guys would say. I look forward to seeing you on Saturday night.